All right, gamers, we're back. If I recall, I need more water here. I'm thinking I need to go to the left next, not the right. That robot just keeps falling down. I see. Generated subjects are new individuals altogether. They don't identities, gender, and personalities. Best part? They can get together and start families. It's all a cohesive ecosystem of self-generating employees. Super cheap, too. Wow. That actually does sound really efficient. Yeah. Selling keychains would probably be a pretty good idea considering how these people are losing all these. Those maps must be for me then, right? Was I supposed to find this? Oh my gosh. They've been making save points too. Guys, they've been making the save points. sure if this is legal. So many.
Oh my goodness gracious. Five, five. I won't jump on him. Oh my goodness. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. The same mistake. Wait, are these designed to be incredibly difficult to land on? See? Why do I move so slowly in the air? And there, I wasn't even allowed to jump. I was looking down, that should have been a mess. I'm pretty sure it missed me, because, you know, I was holding down. And my default thing for that was looking down. I designed the booth lady say I to be pretty straightforward. They encourage employees to save often charge for taxes. I make small talk from time to time. Keep them motivated. I had a small desire for traveling. For some reason this caused jealousy among the booth ladies of different regions. Very interesting and sad. I need to design them with legs. I think a lot of that's my to do with us. I make them happier. I mean hey Speed run tactics, right? I bet I was supposed to actually use effort to climb up here. And I glitched it.
Okay, I need to get out of here before I die. I have one hit left to room for mistakes. Oh wait, there's a save form in here. Oh, you don't know what that means? It means this. Alright, let's read. Oh. Touching ones already hit the ground to do that, eh? So that's how I was supposed to get up here. Right? Maybe? Let's go down. Here we are. Up we go. Yeah, no, I'm not falling for it. Shield, belt, hammer, hammer.
Yeah, no, not falling for it. Happened again today. I was about to enter Mr. Stitch's chamber and I heard him talking to himself. He does this all the time when I'm with him, but this time he hadn't realized I was there. I almost felt like he was conversing. It's where I heard a very different voice coming from his room. There must be someone or something in there with him. This has sparked a number of questions. What is this foreign entity? How long has it been in contact with Stitches? What does it want? What is it telling him? I need to do further research. Secret password, and I. Here's an idea. What if that Tinbolt person has another personality implanted in them? And that's why they're acting the way they do. Which is to say completely insane. I must have missed where I'm supposed to go in here. Don't end up like a tor tortilla, please. Alright. I'm surprised these function. So this probably means Elizabeth was manufactured by them as well. The whole hero thing was created by these guys, but for what reason did they create someone for stitches to have beat him? Sounds weird to manufacture someone to beat you. Because that's what they're doing. They're manufacturing someone. Wait, that's a chain that can be grabbed. Or not. It only looks like a grabbable chain. What am I supposed to do here? I'm actually lost. Turns out I actually have all the passwords. I just didn't figure it out. There's nothing saying hey, like Elizabeth going hey.
Alright. Just gotta keep on going. Yeah, it seems like Elizabeth was manufactured. The hero thing, everything is manufactured. For what reason is what I cannot fathom? How could they profit from all this? It doesn't surprise me at all that the second boss lost his memories due to stitches and whatnot. Enter these passwords. Excuse us, see you inside. You're welcome. Seriously, not even a simple thank you. Can't even not like, use a cutscene, that way I have time to go in. Species Amiguana. Name Amy, status stable. Health 36, attacks 3 to 3, stamina 4. Species Ant Rover, name Roger, status stable. Health 45, attack 5103, stamina 7. Species Moffy, name Matthew, status stable. Health 26, attack 8 to 1, stamina 8. Keep looking, Mr. T. Gotta be here somewhere. Do not rush me, boy. The smelly kid went, ahead, went up ahead, Noski. Species, Batty, name, Pat, status, stable, health, 30, attack, 7, 7, 4, stamina, 3. Species, Itsy, name, Beatsy, status, stable, health, 34, attack, 6, 6, stamina, unknown. Species, Metal Slug, name, Private Salty, status, stable, health, 50, attack, 8, stamina, what the? Oh, you're here? Do you remember again? I bet you thought I was dead. Well, after Stitches tried to strangle me, I thought I was gone or too. You, but how are you alive? Mr. Stitches never would hurt one of his own. It just so happens I wasn't being strangled. More like dramatic shaking. Lord Stitches sent me down here to work as an assistant for Professor T. Burry. He said I'd seen too much and that I should stay down here for a while. I promised you wouldn't be fly. Huh. This place? Well, it's kind of a complicated matter. Even I don't know all about this place. You just see, ask Miss Professor T about it. Hello, dear. Oh, greetings, your highness. Didn't notice you there. Highness, these twerps? Yeah, he's King Josie, you know, the Moth King? Huh. No way. We take care of him here. Recently wandered off and I was a little worried. I'm glad you came back, alright? Have you seen our funny hat? We can't go back without that. Your crown? Sure, it should be around here somewhere. Stitch is not killing you and saving us. has to be some sick joke. I bet you want to find out, Elizabeth. Where are you? Fish, show yourself. Proceed through our factory and let's talk. You have no choice, kid. Let's move. You should hurry. Professor T. Burr is waiting for you up ahead. I'm sure you'll answer your questions. Mr. Wait, you look dashing for our crown. Shiny hat. Species, mass kid, name, missing, status unknown, health 40, attack 3, stamina 7. Species, Los Doros, name, Rafael Eduardo, 
Exciter Stable, Health 66, Attack 18, 16, 10, Stamina 8. Species Mokan, Name Mokantka, Exciter Stable, Health 88, Attack 8, 8, Stamina 5. Species Volcarella, Name JJ, Status Stable, Health 130, Attack 2, 2, 45, Stamina 5. Species Volcanoid, Name Flippy, Status Stable, Health 65, Attack 12, 12, Stamina 22. Everything was manufactured. What is Satchus the Devil? Whoops, sorry, you were meant to go a different way. Is that the hero? I think he's alive. Give me a sec. I'm trying to set him free. Is the screen gonna turn on? Or are we just gonna play for black screen? Hero, Scarfy, it's me, Elizabeth. Can you hear me? Uh, Elizabeth? Yes, it's me. Do I know you? Huh? Oh, my head. Where am I? Doesn't seem like home. You really don't remember me. No, I'm sorry. I always knew you were a useless hero. I'm a hero? I don't even know how to fight. What's going on here? You finally found him, huh? You! What is the meaning of this? He survived? How is this possible? Oh, no, no. You misunderstand. He was pretty dead when I found him. That mask kid really did a number on that hero model. You mean this kid really killed the hero? But, of course, think about it. Do you really think 745 had any choice in the matter? The hero was coming? Death was certain. It was all or nothing. Kill or be killed. It just doesn't make it right. I don't know what right or wrong is anymore. I just want to protect Stitches from himself. Whoa, back up. You mean this is the same hero that died a few days ago? The one and the same. We repurpose him every so often so he can fulfill the cycle of the hero. You, you mean, he's revived like the Baron? The Baron was our first hero model, yes, but Greg was a failure, I'm afraid. He defeated Mr. Stitches like he was supposed to, but he had too much free will. Years later, he discovered that Mr. Stitches was still alive and challenged him to a duel. Mr. Stitches killed him that time, of course. I had to revive him while erasing his memories. Greg. What is that cycle we keep babbling about? Talk. Sorry, this is why I didn't want to do this experiment in the first place. So much explaining. And Mr. Stitches insisted on it. He is so interested in the outcome. I have no idea what's going on here. The hero cycle, to put it simply, is a jer hero's journey. It's the journey heroes embark on to defeat evil. Evil is defeated, years pass, evil emerges again, as well as a new hero. We're in charge of recreating the hero's journey again and again. To that end, Stitches need an army, a challenge for the hero. He asked me to clone our own camp comrades and keep the originals here so they can be safe. The hero fights hordes of clones that we have to revive time and time again. You are a clone? Clone 745 to be precise. I don't really know what caused such an anomaly, but 745 acts in its own accord, disrupting the hero cycle in the process. Are Tim and Timbo a clone too? King Timothy? Oh no. He wandered here by mistake and saw things he shouldn't have. I had to erase his memory, but something went wrong and his mind was split in two. We couldn't let him go back to the Moth Queen in his broken state. So we keep him here until I find a way to fix him. Why do you keep recreating this story? What is the point? If we don't continue the cycles, the world will cease to exist. Gasp. At least that's what Mr. Stitches believes. I've always been a skeptic, but I respect my friend's beliefs. I don't buy this nonsense. I'm a legendary weapon to aid the heroes on their journeys. The statues that you found on your travels only react when you were close. They provide accurate data about you and the hero's progress. It also works as a backup when you want to restart a hero. You mean, the ancient beings that created me were alive? It was all you? You are Elizabeth 1.4. Once every cycle, we erase your data so you can start anew. This is why I can't remember anything from before. Your purpose is to absorb the power of the clones. You were designed to defeat the dishes, but never kill him. Or at least that's how it works with the heroes I design. You're as strong as I allow them to be. But this kid you've been traveling with has no restraints. No inherent limits set by me. 745 is 
unlocked a greater power within you, more than you're supposed to have. You now have enough power to face Mr. Stitches, and there's a slight possibility of you killing him. And even if the possibility is slim, I have to stop you. I will not let you hurt my friend or escape this place. I can't believe this. Everything I've known is a lie. You stopped the cycle. Do you really think the world could end? I feel so used. I was able to break free and come this far, and it was all for nothing? What do you mean, break free? Dramatic. The princess? I was kidnapped, and when I was no longer useful to Stitches, he let me go. Oh, that's who they are. But I just wanted to save my kingdom. I wanted to take the legendary weapon so I could kill Stitches myself. But did I even stand a chance? Is the kingdom and all its subjects just a part of its scheme too? I don't know what to do now. What do you want? I don't want- I don't think I want to fight anymore, I just- just leave me alone. Ellie seems devastated. I think I'll stay and look after her. What, what do we do now, little one? Oh, hi there, Call. Say, do you know what's going on here? Figure so much of a talker, huh? You can relate to that somehow. Sorry, what are you apologizing for? After Stitches let me go, I found this old masked costume tucked away in his room. So I take matters in my own hands. The moment I saw you, I knew we had the weapon of the hero. I just had to take her away from you. I can finish leaving the king once and for all, but now, now I'm utterly lost. Even if I kill him, I do I even stand a chance? I don't want to keep talking to you. This is nothing personal, 745. I'm actually quite fond of you. You remind me of him, but like I said, I can't let you hurt Mr. Stitches. This conversation is over. How about you? T Bird, you're not a genius. Lasers. There we go. Laser rain.
Whoa. There we go. Well, I'm kind of doing it. I guess I'll heal the potion. Nearly there. Only one on each wall, I guess. It'd be really unfortunate if I were to die at this point. How far am I? Ooh. Well, I can't expect- I would feel like that if I had a fight cut it off here. So I should have cut it off before starting this fight. Let's finish them all. We've done it. We defeated this shark strategist person. Did not. I give up. And we'll find out more of his surrender after this. <laughs>